stars of professional wrestling, Mil Mascara, the Mongols, Mighty Igor, Ox Baker, Tex McKenzie, Dick the Bulldog Brower, Argentino Apollo, Gino Brito and Gino Bravo, the Love Brothers, Rip Hawk, and Luis Martinez. Well, hi again, everybody, and welcome to more exciting action here on International Championship Wrestling, presented by the International Wrestling Association. This is Jack Reynolds at ringside, and along with me is my partner from the Lone Star State, Tex McKenzie. Jack Reynolds, it's good to be here. Tex, we've got a double main event up and coming on our program today, along with some new faces here on International Championship Wrestling. We'll be seeing the Islanders, Alpha and Sika from Samoa. Beautiful. We'll be seeing action. Beautiful. We'll Beautiful. also see Thunderbolt Patterson and in a special double main event, and I do want you wrestling fans to listen to this. You'll see... Antonio Argentina Apollo, that's Vittorio Argentina Apollo, he'll take on Eric the Red. And we'll also see the world's most excite exciting tag team duo, the Love Brothers, they'll take on the Italian connection of Gino Brito and Gino Bravo. I I'm going to tell you. We'll also see the Russian strongman, Ivan Koloff, and if that's not all, you're going to see the big guy in action, Big Tech McKenzie. I'm telling you, let's get there, John. All right. We'll be back with more international championship wrestling and all the excitement right after this time out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these matches are sanctioned by the International Wrestling Association, Robert F. Hatch, President. Your referees for tonight's matches, Larry Nichols. And your timekeeper, Tommy Young. Our first bout will be a one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first of all from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in tonight at 245 pounds, Bill Sawyer. His tag team partner from Budapest, Hungary at 229 pounds, Ali Baba. And their opponents, ladies and gentlemen, with a combined weight of 574 pounds from the island of American Samoa, Afa and Sika, the Islanders. This is Jack Reynolds at ringside along with Big Tex McKenzie. The world's set to go with another edition of International Championship Wrestling. Well, we got some outstanding professional stars that will be seen competition in our program today. And a couple of new faces, Big Tex, hailing from the Isle of America, Samoa. It's Afa and Sika, the Islanders. Gigantic men, huge men. They'll take on the combination of Alibaba and Big Bill Sawyer, hailing out of Memphis, Tennessee. You know that Samoans are the biggest of the South Pacific natives, you know? It's just the huge men and great wrestlers, and right now, there's about five or six Samoans campaigning in the United States and around the world. Good, good wrestler. There's the bell. The match is officially underway. It will be Alibaba. He'll be going against Papa, one half of the Islanders. I'll tell you, this Alibaba is beautiful arm drag. And another. Look at the tremendous legs on these on the Samoan wrestlers, the Islanders. Oh, they're really put together, aren't they? Yes, yeah, better to leave. Alibaba pulling the hair, headlock. There's a tag. Here comes Big Bill Sawyer in there. The referee for this spot is Bill Nichols. They kept Larry Nichols. Nichols counting away. Double teaming going on. With Alibaba. Miss! All right, good move in there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. By Alpha. Couple of hard right hand smashes. There's a full Nelson in there. We've got Alabama in streak. <laughs> the end of man, guys. What you call a misconnection right there. <laughs> well, that Bill Sawyer is going to get it tonight. Good double teaming in there by the Islanders. There's a tag. Here comes Tika. Tika with a headlock. And a right hand smash, a couple of right hand smashes to Alibaba. 
There's a tag. Here comes Big Bill Sawyer. And that, that Alabama wanted to get out of that ring. Try for a headlock in there. The passion there by Pika. What happened to the Islanders? Get out of Samoans. A great wrestler. Danny Rislock. Will Sawyer's in trouble. I had the occasion to be in the South Pacific this year, and I'm telling you, fell in love with it. The Samoans, the Fijians, really great people. Double feeding at its best. A double kick to the midsection. You better believe it. Wow, that looks like a karate chop in there. Elbow smash. Try for a press. One, two, and Alibaba getting in there to break the press. That was just in the nick of time. There's that Alabama. The referee, Larry Nichols, warning out of Bobo right now about interfering with this match. I think they've got this, uh, Bill Sawyer. There's a tag. Good backhand tag in there. Sawyer's in trouble. Here comes Alpha. And the Alabama's trying to sneak in. He's a sneaky little wrestler, that Alabama. He's coming up behind. There he got him. Did you see that? Trying for a, trying for a choke in there. <laughs> Now there's a beautiful chin lock in there by Alpha as both men are in the ring right now and both the Samoans are going after them. Boy, Alabama almost when he did, he fell out of the ring. The fans love it. They love this, this tag team duo here, the Islanders, on this edition of International Championship Wrestling. Bill Sawyer in there right now. In the karate cap. A little double teaming going on in there by the Islanders. Referee Nichols warning Alibaba to get back, get back to his corner. And well, that Bill Sayers is going to be scored tomorrow. Off the ring rope. Try for a press. One, two, three. That's it. Let's go up to the ring right now and get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the fall of the match with the body press, Alpha and Chica, the Islanders. All right, let's pick up the action. Looks like a headbutt in there. That's what set it up. Down goes Bill Sawyer. Now off the ring rope is Alpha. A tremendous body press. And Larry Nichols with a three count. And that's all she wrote, Dick Ted. That's it. We'll be right back with more International Championship Wrestling right after we take this important timeout. The International Wrestling Association presenting all of the great superstars of the world of professional wrestling. With me at ringside is the only man who ever defeated Bruno Sammartino in Madison Square Garden. He is the number one contender for that International Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, one of the new faces that you'll be seeing on International Championship Wrestling. The strong man from Russia, Ivan Kolov. That's your mind. You know all what you saying. Everybody knows. It's not how you wrestle, but whether or not you win. And to win, you must be number one. Death. And Russia never put out second death. Only death. Now everybody sees for that around country in the United States. Kola beat everybody. Now Kola sees IWA. Very tough opponent. Very good competition for Kola. Kola must prove, not only to himself, but everybody, that Kola can beat death of IWA. You know, Kola not come from Russia. To represent Russia for nothing. He will show everybody that he is true world champion. That's the strong man from Russia, Ivan Kolov. Let's go up to the ring right now and more exciting action. 
Our next match will be a one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first of all from American Samoa at 247 pounds, Tego. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, hailing from Odessa, Russia, weighing in tonight at 247 pounds, Ivan Koloff. What a great boy is tag team partner tonight, Dick the Bulldog Growler. Now what in the world is Dick the Bulldog Growler doing with Ivan Koloff? Now this match has been sanctioned by the International Wrestling Association. And I have the schedule in front of me. There goes Koloff. That's why, that's what he's doing in the ring. That's what There goes Tego out. There goes Growler. Growler. Come on, get out of there, Brower. Look at Brower pounding away. Look at Brower with a chair. Look at this. Brower picking up a chair and smashing Tego over the head. He is out. No, no, there he is, Jack. Koloff going after Tego. The Come bell. On. Did you hear the bell? I yes. haven't. There's a bell gone. Our timekeeper, Tommy Young. No, look at that. Tego, oh, tremendous match in there. Into the ring post. Tego, there goes Koloff off the top of the ring rope. <laughs> Referee Larry Nichols counting. How that man is getting up, I can't believe. The Samoans are the toughest race of people in the world. No question about it. The strong man from Russia, Ivan Koloff. <laughs> I still can't figure out what Dick the Bulldog Brower was doing in that ring. He had no business in that ring. Careful in there. Looks like a looks like a chin lock. Butt face chin lock in there. He got the definite advantage on Kate Toga. Look at that. Hands in the mouth. See if our camera, our cameraman will pick up the expression there on Ivan Koloff. Golas, the former world champion, is out to regain that world championship again. All right, Tegel getting back in there. Koloff right now grabbing. What is that, a carpet? That, that's a, the match that he brought into the ring. Wrestling fans coming up. You're going to see the big guy in action, Tex McKenzie, and a double main event. Argentina Apollo will take on Eric the Red, along with his manager, Cannon. We'll also see Thunderbolt Patterson. And listen to this, the Love Brothers, Reginald and Hartford Love, will take on the Italian connection of Gino Brito and Gino Bravo. That's all up and coming, so please don't go away. Stay right where you are and enjoy all the action right here on International Championship Lesson. This is Tego right now. Tego, fighting around. He's giving him back from his own medicine, Jack. Into the turnbuckle. Tego. The fans are with Tego. Koloff coming right back, though. Hard right hand to the jaw. Russian ring general. There's no question about it. Koloff controls the match, no matter what match he's in. Into the ring rope. And the boot to the midsection. That Tego has taken tremendous punishment, and he keeps coming back for more. And it's possible it could be an upset in this match. I hope so, Jack. I like those Samoan boys. This Ivan, this Ivan Koloff, who at one time was the heavyweight wrestling champion of the world, is really something. He wants that belt back, and he wants it bad. <laughs> He's the only man that ever defeated Bruno Sammartino in Madison Square Garden in New York. That's right. Now he's got a defeat. Body slam. Now he's got a defeat. Mascara. Off the top of the ring rope. A tremendous knee to the midsection. A cradle and a three count. That's it, Dad. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go up to the ring right now and the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall in the match with the atomic drop, Ivan Koloff. There's Dick the Bulldog Brower. Brower coming in there, raising the hand of Koloff in victory. 
And there's a man that has no business in that ring, wrestling fan, none whatsoever. The unpredictable Dick the Bulldog Brower. Brower and Koloff right now, standing victorious in center ring. Look at Koloff, hollering at Toga. And look, there goes Brower again. Two on one. It's been that way since the beginning of this match. Pounding away, pounding away on this young Samoa. Big Tech wrestling fan, let's pick up the action once again with a tremendous body slam, Koloff. Koloff going back on top of the ring rope. Now watch this knee, Jack. An atomic drop kick in there, right across the midsection. And the press. Referee Larry Nichols counting three, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more international championship wrestling right after this timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match will be a one fall with a 15-minute time limit from Gallup, New Mexico, weighing in tonight at 249 pounds, Cisco Grimaldo. His opponent, weighing in tonight at 272 pounds, from San Antonio, Texas, the man from the Alamo, Big Tech, McKenzie. There goes Cisco Grimaldo right now, assaulting my partner, Big Tech McKenzie. Look out, Grimaldo. Oh, big kick to the foot of this right hand to the side of the jaw. Another right hand side to the head. And there goes the big guy from the Alamo. A good elbow smash in there by Tex McKenzie. A knee lift. There he goes. Little bulldog is going on. High knee lift. Watch for the bulldog in now. Big Tex McKenzie. Look out, referee Nichols. Into the turnbuckle. There he goes. Little bulldog in. Big Tech, fight for a press. One, two, three, that's it. A quick fashion, Tex McKenzie. Let's get the official decision right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall of the match is the Bulldog headlock, Big Tech McKenzie. All right, let's pick up the action of my partner wrestling fan. High knee lift right in there by Big Tech. Look at that big, long, wacky legs moving around. Yes, sir. Another high knee lift. Oh, he loves to use them big legs, doesn't he? Now, into the turnbuckle goes Grimaldo. Head first. Headlock. Little bulldog is going now. Well, watch the pressure of his head into the mat. There it is. Into the mat. Over. And a press. A three count. And that's my partner, Tex McKenzie. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more international championship wrestling right after this. Wrestling fans, before we go any further, I'd like to tell you to lower the volume on your television set because with us is the crybaby himself. He calls wait a minute, himself. Arnold, wait a minute. Clarify that. George Cannon. Where have you ever seen a grown man cry? George Cannon. I've seen you cry, Cannon. Today I am here, calm, collected, and serene. I have no intention of letting my emotions run away. And for the simple reason that we have received 7,957 letters to date saying, George Cannon, you were famous for the victory smile, you now have the international champion, and you also have Eric the Red, and we know you are going after your master and another title. But before that, mighty Igor is standing in our way. And we have dissolved Igor and his candy bars and everything else he brings out. All in one shot. But for you fans who have requested it, I am going to give the victory smile the first time on International Championship Wrestling. Bring the camera in. Get a load of this beautiful teacher. The victory smile. He calls himself a... Every time we win a match, Cannon runs up in the middle of the ring, and it's going to be so repetitious that the muscles in my jaws here are getting sore from going... The victory smile. Wrestling fans, you will see it when you come to see Eric the Red, the greatest single individual wrestler in modern professional wrestling history. Right, Eric? George Cannon along with Eric the Red. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Ivan along with the mighty Igor, the world's strongest professional wrestler. You know, 
I just stood off here on the side, listened to all this big mouthing going on, but all these people that are so strong and everything else, all the words said about Igor, he don't look worried. But I'll tell you one thing, to prove himself, all he has to do is defeat his opponents. And every one of them that they feed to him, no matter how, they get to push them into the ring. Let's get this Eric the Red one by one. Take George Cannon at the same time. Eagle can take both of them on and defeat them in one night. I'm not worried. He's not worried. I can sit right in the corner of the ring. Look, I'll show you something. See that? See that? That's the fellow he just defeated, the last man. He don't look happy. He says that's Eric on there. That's what he's got. But I am going to take a chair, sit down at the ringside, and watch this man defeat every opponent that they get in the ring against him. He don't look concerned whatsoever. Igor, push it. Thank you, Igor. That's Ivan, along with the Polish strongman, the mighty Igor. Let's go up to the ring right now and more exciting action. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match, a very special attraction, one fall with a 30-minute time limit. Now let's introduce you, first of all, from Buenos Aires, Argentina, weighing in right at 229 pounds, Argentina, Apollo! And his opponent, weighing in right at 320 pounds, from Copenhagen, Denmark, Eric Barrett. Accompanied by his manager tonight, George Crybaby Cannon. Jack Reynolds right back at ringside along with the victorious Tex McKenzie. Boy, this is part of our double main event. The big man from Denmark, Eric, against Victorio Argentina Apollo. Along with Eric is manager George Cannon. Watch out for Cannon. Watch out for the bone. Look at the size of that bone. I would venture to say, although I don't have any facts on it, that bone has helped Eric the Red win a lot of matches. By the way, Big Tech, congratulations on that exciting victory over your uh, opponent there, Cisco Grimaldo. Boy, he jumped me. I tell you what, I thought a hurricane hit me for a minute there. Yeah, but you handled the situation well, Big Tech. Well, I just thank goodness that I was able to come out of that alive. Okay, your referee for this spot is Larry Nichols, instructing both men. There's the bell, and ladies and gentlemen, this match is officially underway. Jack, did you see? Look at Eric Garrett has got the got a rope or something. He hit it from the referee's eye. Now he's got it again. He's got that rope. The rope fell. I think one of the fans has got it. Watch Cannon. There goes Cannon over. Cannon walking over, picking up the rope. Very slyly. Look at Cannon holding the rope in his hand. Argentina Apollo. What an exciting performer, huh? Uh, and a beautiful man. Fantastic artist, Apollo. You spent a lot of time with him over in the Orient. Yes, I did. Last year, Japan. They had a fabulous trip. Believe it or not, Eric was quite a hit in Japan, too. Oh, yes. I tell you what, Jack. Did you see that one? I was <laughs> I've got to say something nice about Eric Garrett, and I'm going to figure it out about it. Let's pick it up. He's trying for a feel here, and watch Apollo with a beautiful cartwheel in there. Boy, what an exciting performer he is. I wish we had a double TV screen so we could keep one of the cameras on that side, baby George Cannon. He is so wild when anything happens to one of his boys. Eric right now smashing away on Apollo. Larry Nichols counting. Apollo is giving away a good, maybe a hundred pounds. Apollo is a big man, but Eric the Red is a giant. And he's choking away right now. Cannon giving instructions to Eric. Side of the ring. You know, if you've got the heavy wrist gauntlets or whatever they cost, tag on the wrist, which gives them a man a tremendous advantage. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that. Now you know why Apollo is one of the most that back kick wrestlers. in there by Argentina Apollo. Did you see that kick right in the chin? Wow. <laughs> oh, gosh, I love wrestling, Jack. I tell you what, this has got to be the most exciting sport in the world. Look at that George Cannon there. He's he doesn't like what's about happening it. now, Big Tech. Oh, gosh. Boy, 
Apollo really coming in with some beautiful moves, using his feet to his advantage. Eric right now, a bit stunned by these moves by Into the Turnbuckle. Good move by Argentina Apollo, who was outweighed in this match by some 60 some pounds. That's right. Then they can us down there. I'd just like to say one thing. Since IWA has been on television screen, the popularity of this wrestling show has outdone every other wrestling show in the world today. And a lot of big time shows besides. Argentina Apollo right now. Uh -oh. Head into the mat by Eric. I don't know if the fans could hear that, but I can hear it clean across the ring and over here at the table. He got the eyes checked. I believe he gouged. Okay, you can see George Cannon in the upper left hand of your screen right now. Getting some instructions to Eric. He's still got the rope around the head, you know this. Eric stopping away on Apollo right now. Apollo moving out. Hard smashing. Body, body slam. slam. Good body oh, slam. Look at that, look at that counter. Look at Apollo trying to pick up Big Eric. Nothing doing. He's free. That's it. Look I that. knew he was going to do it. I was, gosh, God, he worked fast as I could talk. I knew that I was going to be a bad terrific, Jack. That was a good move in there. Oh, beautiful. Looks like a fat body flip in there by Argentina Apollo. He's a game competitor. You know that, Apollo? Oh, you better believe it. Cannon doesn't like what's going on in the ring right now. No, he doesn't. Into the turnbuckle. He caught him again. He's got the bone. Uh-oh, he's got that bone. Right in the face of the net. He's got the bone. Uh-oh. Look at this. Let's bring fans. Here comes Bill Marcella. That's it. What a nice oh, let's bring heavyweight champion. The referee is throwing the match out. Flip over. Stop it. Give me your atomic search for Out of the ring. I don't know where it came from. Uh, the international wrestling heavyweight champion, Bill Muscada, with some tremendous prime drop kick. Unbelievable. Uh-oh, the referee now, Muscada. He's awarded the match to Eric the Red. Disqualified Apollo. Outside interference, I believe, Big Tech. We'll wait for the referee to know. Let's go up to our ring announcer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, winner of the match, Eric DeWitt. The Terry Apollo disqualified because of outside interference. That's it. We all know who won that. That's right. Bill Moscadas came out of nowhere. I don't know where he came from. I don't know where he came from, wrestling fans, but he came out like a, he looked like a thief in the night, uh -huh. a gunner. All right, let's pick up the action right now. Let's see what happens as Eric goes with the bone. He caught Apollo with the bone. He's off the ring ropes right now, a knee to the back. And there's Moscada uh -huh. coming out of nowhere with a hard right hand, another right hand, a headlock, a couple of right hands to the head, into the ring rope. A beautiful backdrop in there by Bill Moscada. The International Wrestling Heavyweight Look at that Champion. Kick. Beautiful. Flying drop kick. Another flying drop kick. And there goes Eric out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more exciting action right after we take this time out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout will be a one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing from Los Angeles, California, weighing in tonight at 256 pounds, Buddy Porter. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, weighing in tonight at 247 pounds, from Atlanta, Georgia, the Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt Patterson. Hang out of your seats, everybody. Here comes uh, the big guy from... From Atlanta, Georgia, Thunderbolt Patterson. Timo, baby, that's the name of the game. Little Soul Patrol going here on International Championship Wrestling. Said I tell you, Jack, I just, just love to go out and double date with that wrestler. He has more fun than anybody living. 
Buddy Porter will be Thunderbolt's opponent in this match. One fall, 15-minute time limit. Your referee is Larry Nichols. There's the bell. And ladies and gentlemen, this match is officially underway. Mm -hmm. Both men center ring right now after a handshake. And Thunderbolt going for a quick press. Jack, but I rather hope he doesn't beat this guy too quick. I just love to watch him. Wonderful. Oh, right man. Right out of the top. Oh, 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 oh In there, get tossed in there by Thunderbolt Patterson. That's right. That's Buddy Porter. I tell you what, boy, I, you got to hand it to fellas like like Buddy Porter. Really working on the eyes, dodging up the eyes of people. You got to hand it to these guys. They're up. They, they come in and they they want to give them a battle. And believe, look at that! Look at that! He's doing his thing. Oh, what motion, huh? Boy, he's got all the moves in there. Well, the fans love it. They really like Thunderbolt Patterson. I don't know about the fans, but I do. That's it. All over. How about that for excitement, wrestling fans? Let's go up to the ring right now. Rick Martin and the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner with the body press, Thunderbolt Patterson. Let's pick up the action again, Tex. Call it. We got some soul strutting coming on in there. Ooh, I tell you what. Look at him. There he goes. There's the soul <laughs> strut. That's something that only yeah. T-Bolt Patterson can do. Well, I tell you, that's why I said, but you better believe it. I, I, I love to watch him up. If I couldn't get in for nothing, I'd pay to watch him wrestle. Another headbutt. Down goes Porter and the press. Three comp, and that's it. We'll be back with more International Championship Wrestling right after we take this time off. The excitement is mounting on International Championship Wrestling. The contenders are standing by. And with me right now, a living legend at his own time. I call him the Southern Gentleman. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Rip Hawk. A man that has been around the world of professional wrestling for a long time. Hey, dude, Jack, it's a pleasure to be here. And I'm here for one reason and one reason only. I have several people that I'm after. One key figure in my life who's created nothing but trouble for me is a fellow by the name of Thunderbolt Patterson. Thunderbolt Patterson has been after me because I put him in the hospital one time. Now, he wants me, and here I am, looking forward to meeting him somewhere, sometime, in his vast United States. And the number two man I'm after is this big, daddy, long legs Tex McKenzie. What I want to do with him is chop him right down, take about a foot or two off of his legs, get him down to my size, and then beat him under the mat. So Patterson, look out. McKenzie, look out. And then there's another big man I'm going to tell you about the next time. Is there anything maybe that you'd like to say to all of your ladies' friends that flock the arenas to see Rip Hawk well, in action? Think, just by my being here is enough break for them for today, so I don't want to say anything to them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have Rip Hawk, who is one of the contenders for the International Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Let's go up to the ring right now in more exciting action. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match will be one fall with a curfew time limit. Introducing, first of all, hailing from Boston, Massachusetts, with a combined weight tonight of 456 pounds, Hartford and Reginald. The Love Brothers! Accompanied by their manager tonight, Al Costello. And their opponents, ladies and gentlemen, for the combined weight of 457 pounds, hailing from Italy, the Italian connection, Gino Brito and Gino Bravo. at ringside along with Big Tex McKenzie and boy what a match this is going to be. All right there's the bell. It'll be Hartford Love 
starting things off against Dino Bravo. What a good-looking young guy he is, boy. That's right. I'm telling you, he's got it all going for us. You better believe it. I just love the double date with him because he just can't take out more than two or three at a time. There's a tag. Here comes uh, Reginald Love in there right now against Dino Bravo. Air pull, takedown by Reggie. Referee Larry Nichols warning Reginald Love about those tactics. Every now and then, West Wing fans, uh, if you listen, you'll be hearing Al Costello blowing that whistle in the corner of the Love Brothers. Well, I'll tell you, he runs the show from that corner. You better believe it. That whistle's a tremendous idea because of various whistles mean various signals, and uh, they never get their signals crossed, do they, by the way? Paul Nelson. Magnificent, love. Magnificent, uh, magnificent athlete. It, Jack. Beautiful move in there by Dino Bravo. Dino Bravo, the Italian one half of the Italian connection. He got another full note. Beautiful, beautiful recovery. Nice drop kick in there by Dino Bravo. A flying head scissor. Good move in there by young Dino. Yeah. I tell you, this, this Italian connection impresses me. The more and more I see them, boy, they, they are just great. That's right. I think they to be honest with you, Jack, they're destined for the tag team championship in the world. Well, coming from you, Tex, that's, that's quite a compliment. No, I really mean it. They, they are tremendous. Dino Bravo is a... Uh, look at that, a beautiful touchdown. Dino Brito has got a leg hold on him. Can't tell which one that is. Hartford or that's Hartford Love in there. Hartford Love. Right. I thought it may be. That's Hartford. Hartford in the green. For those of you that are watching international championship wrestling. Here comes. Refer to many. By many. Rotten Reggie. <laughs> Reginald Love in there right now. Against Dino Bravo. A couple Dino of reverse Dino. arm locks in there. Both men reversing the arm lock. All right, now this yeah. is what I this is what I I mentioned before: the blowing of the whistle and the instructions from Al Costello, the manager of the Love Brothers. All right, both men right now. There's the hair pull, double teaming, Tex, trunk, trunk, trunk. He's got the trunk, pulling the trunk to Pino Brito. Couple of low blows in there. He's got Brito and Silva. There's a tag. Here comes Hartford. Pushing him back into the corner and trotting away is Hartford Love. Look at Costello. He's got the... He's holding it. No wonder he could have got an ankle. Holding the foot. Look. Whatever he is, see it. Dino Bravo coming. Dino Bravo coming over. Look at how Costello. Double teaming going on. Look at him cooking away. Our international championship camera's picking up the action. Dino Bravo trying to get in there to help his partner, Dino. Reginald's in the ring. Dino's in trouble. He's put in a punch in heavy. There's another tag. Here comes Hartford. Watch this. Double slam in there. Hair pull. Chin lock. And a hard right hand smash to the chest. Right. Over the house. Here comes Kino. Oh, beautiful. Driving his head into the mat. Kino Brito, who has really been taking a pound of it. But he's Beautiful. There's a tag, and here comes Kino Bravo. Uh-oh. Yeah. Look out. Yeah. Look out. Body slam. Elbow slam. Elbow drop. There's a tag. Here comes Reggie. Reggie pulling up the hair. Another body. Oh, Out the door. He missed it. Missed the elbow smash. Body slam by Dino Bravo. A try for a press. One. Oh, and Reggie. Oh, finishing the tip. Both 
men maneuvering right now. There goes Gino Bravo and the Love Brothers. Right, crashing into each other. And now Costello is on one. There goes Costello watching. He's got the boomerang. Now Costello with the boomerang. Line drop kick in there by Gino Bravo. Connecting. And the left to it, Bravo. They're out. They're out of the way. Referee Larry Nichols is watching his every move. I'd like to make comment that uh, Nichols is doing a tremendous job of referee. Double head pass in there by Tino Brito. Costello grabbed by the leg. Now Costello is in. He is right now. Well, he's blowing his whistle. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This is a this is a wild man. All right, there's a tag, and Dino, Dino Bravo is back in there right now. He's getting a little bit of order back. Well. He's getting a little bit of order back. We're getting instructions from Costello. He better give him a little instructions, I'll tell you that. All right, Dino Bravo in there. Reggie Love right now asking Dino... Uh-oh, they got something going here. They got something going on. Trying to do something. Dino Bravo right now. Hard right hand smash. Look at Reggie. Reggie is grabbing Hartford Love in the corner. I can't figure out what's going on here. They're, they're, they're looking to do something. Neither can Costello. Costello's worried. All right, both men right now. Hartford Love in there against Dino Bravo. There's a tag, and here comes Reggie. Nice, but uh, Reggie's got him. He's got a prestigious hold. Very popular in the Orient. They call it the Japanese nerve pinch. I know it. Working on that prestigious muscle. Oh, that's a devastating blow. That really, that really hurts. I had a Kung Fu wrestler get that on me one time in Japan, and I'm going to tell you something. Unless you've ever had, it in, had that hole put on you, you have no idea what happens to your neck muscles. Ladies and gentlemen, we certainly hope that you're enjoying this edition of International Championship Wrestling coming your way featuring the Love Brothers against the Italian Connection, Dino Brito and Dino Bravo. And right now, the Love Brothers look like they're coming back. Yeah, Dino's in trouble. You know, fighting back with a hard right hand smash to the jaw. What a tag. What a punch he has. I can't get over that punch he gave Al Costello. That was oh, good move. Here comes Costello. Costello right now waving that boomerang. Trying to get at Gino Bravo. I want to say something. That Costello better take care of his boomerang. Or else those Italian connections are going to get him. That's Gino Brito in there right now, wrestling fans. Double teaming by the Love Brothers. There comes Gino. Referee Larry Nichols interceding. Double teaming. Look at this. Molotek. Using the ropes for an edge breaker. Costello. Costello. They got a wild here. Referee is called for the bell. The referee is called for the bell. As the assault continues. Brothers. They're running for cover. Here's the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the time having expired, the referee declares this contest a draw. That's a it. Draw. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Reynolds at ringside along with Tex McKenzie. We want to thank you so much for joining us here on this edition of International Championship Wrestling. We'll see you again next week with more exciting action. Thank you. Adios, amigo.